Yep. One of them things that make you go, hmm. Well, well, well. Underground societies. Yeah. Yeah, we can dig on that. Red and blue and blue and red. Now that might get tricky. But love to the sister and Michelle because she's about to, uh, man. Love to the sister and Michelle, man. We got that Khalifa drop from the sister too, so. Wow. Let go. Uh, yeah, man. Get cozy. Um, I'm going to let this flow, but you know me. Um, but yeah, go uh, subscribe to the sister and Michelle, man, so y'all can just get this through. Because I'm going to try not to go crazy as I, I fall back with you. Love to the family, love to the crew, the goat. Disclaimer, you read this doc at your own risk. What you do to this doc is your responsibility. What you do with this doc is your responsibility. This doc is for information. I specifically disclaim any and all damages or liability resulting from the use of this doc and slash or from the reading of this doc. The Secret Underground World Society by Robert Disco, 1994, United States. The doc they don't ever want you to read. Dedicated to the following. To my 20-year-old daughter, the Great White Brotherhood wherever they may be located on the highest of the spiritual planes on Earth, God, all the innocent people in the past who have been nailed to the cross by the secret underground society, all the innocent people at the present who are now being nailed to the cross by the secret underground society, all the innocent people in the future who will be nailed to the cross by the secret underground society, which means what? Crucify, which means what? What are they doing to you? How do they crucify you? Is nailing you to the cross physical? Is it mental? Is it spiritual? Have you spiritually been crucified? Even the future people who will be nailed to the cross, crucify? Or are they physically nailing people to the cross and crucifying them, past, present, and future? But we're just talking about the secret caves of the lizard people? Reptiles, let's go. And for all the innocent children who have no place to run to when their parents indoctrinate them also as members into the secret underground society. A special dedication to all patriots. If you have been wondering why certain things have been happening to you and your friends in your endeavors to protect the Constitution, Bill of Rights, etc. of the United States by way of hindering and clobbering you and your efforts then this doc will help to explain to you who is doing it to you and the evil that permeates within our country not knowing right from wrong. Distribution. I encourage distribution of the secret underground world society, doc to United States and worldwide computer bulletin board systems. The truth shall set us and our children free. Introduction. I first bumped into the secret underground society when I was 32 years old. Or should I say that IT bumped into me? What it did to me at 32 years of age was to make me crazy and drive me into a psych ward at a hospital in Tucson, Arizona. I am diagnosed by the wonderful doctors as having schizophrenia due to my run-in with the secret society, and I am now permanently disabled unable to work living off of disability pensions which support my daughter and myself. But what the wonderful doctors who I have had who live inside the nest of the secret society won't tell you or me is that he is right when he tells us that he has been screwed. Only one doctor way back in 1976 when this happened had the guts to tell me that somebody was screwing me. Much more on all of this later in part 2 of this doc. Now first of all, no matter how painful it might be for me in revealing to you what has happened to me and is currently happening to my daughter, I have to be truthful to you. Because this kind of stuff is happening and has already happened to many people in the United States. And none of this should be happening to anybody. It has to be remembered that the bastards who live as members inside their nest which is the secret underground society are the cleverest of people you have ever seen. They will do everything and anything they have to do to protect their secret nest of people in their society. It's called a big time network my friends. Now I am 50 years old. I have been living inside the secret underground society nest for 18 years. What does this mean? It means that for 18 years I have been exposed to what they do to you, how they do it to you, and everything else they do. In other words, I got a lot of good stuff on all of them. Now has my life been in danger for the last 18 years? Well hell. What do you think? Of course it has. Only by the grace of God am I still here. About debunkers. Now I have to warn you who I consider to be clean, no, I don't mean that you just took a bath and washed up, 
to whom this dock is primarily directed to and for that when the people who live inside the secret underground society network get their hands on this dock that they will try and tell immediately to everybody in the world that this is all crazy. That all of this is insane. Unfortunately even clean people who read this doc will say this. This is understandable. Unfortunately it will be impossible to tell who is who in saying these things about this doc. Also when this doc is put onto BBS's systems don't be surprised if in a couple of days it is taken off of a BBS. Do you think the sysop will be able to sleep at night who is one of these cockroaches with the knowledge that there is this doc there exposing them all? What does clean mean here in this context? What clean means here is that the person is a normal person in living life. In other words the person is not a member of the secret underground society, never heard of it, and doesn't know twaddly shit about it. Part 1. What the hell is the secret underground society? First of all in the United States the population is about somewhere from 260 to 280 million people, I don't remember the exact figures. So what we have and think only what we have is the visible society or population. Yep. That's what I thought too up until I was 32 years old. I would see all my friends now and then, talk to strangers now and then, drive my car through town every day past tons of people just like you do too, etc, etc, and thought that they were all normal people just like me. But, however, there is an invisible society which is a subset made up from the visible society. Okay. So now what the hell is the invisible society? Alright. What we have running around in the streets of the United States is a subset of a population that belongs to two ideologies based upon their sociological status in life. Here is what their invisible setup is only known to them until now. There are two sides of people running around in here called red and blue. Don't I wish it was this easy to explain but it is not. From those people who come from the United States population and are on the red side, I have discovered that this side of people can be broken down into two subgroups called bright reds and black reds. Let's get this straightened out really fast here that black means really evil and bright means somewhat good. Now the blue side coming from the United States population I have discovered is composed of seven groups of blue sides. Nobody said that their shit was going to be easy to understand. These bastards made it this way, I didn't. Now it is important to understand that one of these blue sides is a black blue side. And naturally I have discovered that there is also a bright blue side. Okay now we have chart time. Red side composition blue side composition. 1. Black red. 1. Black blue. 2. Bright red. 2. Blue. 3. Blue. 4. Blue. 5. Blue. 6. Blue. 7. Blue. Now the bright blue side I have mentioned earlier comes from some members who are in the other six blue sides not obviously from the damn black blue side. These numbers here are not rankings of any nature. I just used numbers to help me to list the complication of their mess that they have created within their damn invisible society. So how many of these cockroaches are there in the invisible society? Think in terms of super big numbers and you will be getting close to comprehending how much of the United States population is involved in this super secret. Would 200 million scare you? Maybe 230 million? Would 150 million make you feel better? Obviously I don't have any exact numbers. I can only tell you that I keep running into tons of them all the time during the last 18 years of fighting these bastards for my survival and for my daughters, especially against the black ones. Well if you're so smart who started this invisible society? I don't know how it got created. I haven't been able to find out from any of the nuts inside of it, who started it, or, how it got started, or even, when it got started. But I know one thing that it has been here since World War II and one believe it has been here even way before World War II. You're a lunatic no secret this big could have been kept like this for so long. Wrong. You should ask all the people who are sitting in mental institutions about them who have had their brains cracked by them on purpose for various reasons, more on this in part 2, and, thereby arranged conveniently to be placed into institutions to shut them up. They love for people who have discovered what is going on to be so scared of them that you will just stay inside your house forever or just sit in a rocking chair on the porch forever all doped up on psychotic medication until you die. They thrive on your fear of them. By the way I told one of them, a poisonous female soul that I was going to write a doc on them. She said, nobody will believe you. This is partly how they keep on getting away with it. In still existing is a secret underground society never getting busted apart. What is all this about their socological status in life? First of all what this means is that money and power is involved here for them. 
Remember those fraternity and sorority house in college. You're bonded to your fraternity brother or sorority sister and if sometime in the future say you are applying for a job and the job interviewer sees that you are a member of his fraternity what do you think is going to happen? Bingo, you get the job and the other guy loses out. That's the way life is and that's how these things operate. So let's go back to our secret underground society chart and think of all of those seven blue groups of these people as being their fraternities and sororities. Likewise for the two red groups mentioned previously. So what we have is the social stratification of people with money and power and the lack of money and power layered inside of all these different blue and red groups. First those in poverty, next those people having a little bit more, next those people doing better than those below the others, say now perhaps the middle class for example, then those much better off than the middle class, and etc. and etc. What is all this about two political ideologies? First of all the red group or red side is mapped somewhat as a one-to-one -one correspondence to the Democratic Party. Likewise the blue group or blue side is mapped somewhat as a one-to-one -one correspondence to the Republican Party. In watching these insects at work, especially the black blue side, the majority of the Republican presidents have come from the back blue side. I am not sure if all of the Republican presidents have come from that side but a lot of them have come from that side. It is stated here that the black blue side is utterly super dangerous to the happiness and well-being of the American citizens. It is also important to remember that the black blue side are the ones responsible for the utter destruction of many innocent people's lives by putting them on the top of their shit list. Being thankful for this side and showing me their evilness has shown me and will show you how to deal with their evil. Also from what I can understand from knowing about the secret underground society's network shit is that the democratic presidents seem to be coming from the black red side. These bastards are just as evil and think almost just like the black blue side. We will talk about more of this later as we get deeper into this doc. Will the secret underground society ever just die away into oblivion? Nope. All these sides or if you want to you can also think of them as clubs indoctrinate their children into what's really going on through the parents. From what I can see is that a lot of these parents indoctrinate their children at maybe around 10 to 12 years of age. I also have heard from their big mouths that many of the parents wait until the children are much older before the parents tell the children what is really going on. Also some children are never told anything being the fact that the teenager couldn't handle it and would tell everybody. So the number of people in these sides keep on growing and growing. I'll give you an example here which should be in part 2. I would see teenagers around 15 to 16 years old come up to me and say to me, Bob do you have a dime? Plus during the last 18 years there were many other examples of what these kids would say to me when in fact I would never know who they were. But they would use my name Bob. Well friends, the secret underground society knows everything about you and they all pass the info among themselves because you're on the top of their list as being a threat to their very existence and to what they are getting away with in life. And in fact they all know what you look like, what kind of car you drive, etc, etc. So in essence some of these teenager underground shits play their little mind games with you. Bob, you got a dime. Bob, you got a quarter. Etc. There is another color that these nuts have created for themselves. Oh no, not another color you're saying. This is already quite some kind of fiction or science fiction story you're thinking by now. Well, friends. If, and it does happen. A red side male or female marries a blue side female or male then they and their children are considered to be pink. In other words there is a crossover. Why the hell are they called pink now? I don't know. This is their society mess, not mine. Take out a color chart wheel and combine the colors red and blue, you sure as hell don't get pink. They created this, I didn't. I just walked into it and discovered it. How lucky I am. Yeah, right. Also I have seen clean people see the definition of clean previously, get married to them. Obviously never knowing that their spouse is one of these nuts in the secret underground society. Now this leads us right into our next topic. Do the people in these different sides know about each other, who's who? Yep. At first when I bumped into this secret society I thought that each of the many different sides of people didn't know who the people were in the other sides. But I observed and learned really fast. They all know what side, s, their friends, neighbor, doctors, lawyers, politicians, clergy, dentists, police officers, presidents, supreme court members, etc. are on. Let's put it this way friends. The secret underground society exists all the way from the bottom such as hookers to all the way to the top such as the rich and powerful. 
Now if a side doesn't know immediately if somebody 3,000 miles away from them is on their team, they will find out really fast through their grapevine what side that person is on. Do these cockroaches ever recruit clean people to be on their side? During the last 18 years I know of one couple that were recruited by these insects to be on or rather to join a particular side. Oh, by the way, these people were also given the snow job by the side recruiting them that they would be helped in life. Needless to say nothing ever was given or offered to these people to help them in their life after they were recruited. Some more on how they act inside the political arena. It is to be noted here that many of these people in these sides are, and do get pissed off, at their own politicians and presidents that are on their same side that may be in power. Just like how normal or clean people react. So it is not uncommon for people in the blue sides to vote for somebody who is in a red side. Likewise for people who are in a red side to vote for somebody who is in a blue side. Now also you will find many of these people on these sides who are so pissed off at the political choices given to them to vote on that many go over to vote for the third parties. You have to understand that the people in the red and blue sides, remember they are everywhere, control the mass media plus a whole lot of other shit, how about everything, so that the third parties are always knocked out of debates, TV coverage, you name it, etc. We all know the only occurrence where this didn't happen was the last election where the independent party had big bucks to spend to not let it happen. But what about those other third parties? They never were invited to participate in any debates, they never got hardly in press coverage, etc., and etc. Now friends what we must realize here is that the red and blue sides, especially the black red and black blue side don't want any other contender parties in the United States to exist. A recent previous president even said this on the TV news one day in the past that two parties have suited the United States just fine. Yep. Red and blue parties. Friends. What these two sides have been into for so long is called control of us. You're not going to tell me that this secret underground society is infiltrated throughout the whole world are you? Of course I am. Considering how massive it is in the United States you don't really think that IT isn't spread throughout the whole world do you? In fact I can thank a woman back in the time span from 1980 to 83 who had a big mouth in telling me so when I was learning about this cesspool the hard way, more on her in part 2. Of course just like in the United States there are people in all the other countries that would be clean also, God bless them. Is there some kind of command structure on who gives the orders? Yes there is. But unfortunately I don't know too much about who the top leaders are only that a bunch of them are in Washington, D.C. First of all their generals wear suits slash dresses and are at the top of the power structure. As they give their orders they filter all the way down through their cesspool to all the Joe Beerkins slash families to implement. Naturally since Joe Beerkin doesn't he know right from wrong, in other words has its ass located where its brains are supposed to be located, implements the order. Evil at its finest. Totalitarianism at its best. A hilarious and sickening scenario inside the intelligence communities. It is to be noted that these people in these colorful red and blue sides are also encamped as having jobs inside the FBI, NSA, CIA, DIA, you name it. So here we got black blues and black reds working inside the intelligence agencies along with the bright blues and bright reds. Plus people from those other six blue sides working inside of these organizations. What is to be noted here is that there are also clean people working in these organizations too. These colorful sides just love the clean people because they can manipulate them so nicely since they don't know what the hell is going on. So what we have here are these colorful girls and guys doing security checks on colorful people and clean people for security clearances. I find this rather hilarious and sickening at the same time. Unfortunately when these rats are doing their background checks on the clean people they should have the balls which they don't have to tell the clean people that, oh, I forgot to tell you. I live inside the secret underground society and I'm dirty doing this check on you who is clean. I think you get the picture on how this works. When they are doing their background checks they look the other way when it comes to what side the person is on undergoing the check. In other words, can't upset the secret society nest. So what we have are millions of secret society nuts running around with security clearances. Once you are born into one of these colorful sides are you stuck there? Yes and no. These colorful people jump from side to side like jumping beans. There are people, say, in a certain particular blue side that will and do jump out of it into another or different blue side thinking they will be on a better winning team. Yes once you are inside the secret underground society you are always stuck there. Nothing is ever normal for you again. Do any of these people stuck in the secret underground society wish it never existed? Yep. 
I have run into people who have wished that the secret underground society never existed because they know that IT is all wrong to live this way. But unfortunately they all don't have the big balls to try and bust it apart. Alert 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 alert. Remember that the colorful people inside the black blue and black red sides are totally evil and work together to destroy innocent people's lives. In fact when these red shits need to, they will put on their black and blue hats one day and then the next day put back on their black and red hats. Likewise the junk black blue side when they have to will put on their red hats one day and the next day put back on their blue hats again. This is why an awful lot of people who live inside this secret society mess hate these assholes with a passion. Because their generals or leaders play the double dipping game. Mm. Folks it's all for power and money and control of you. Nobody said that it would be easy in understanding the secret underground society mess. Do any of the colorful people on the lower level echelons in these blue and red sides know that they are being used and controlled by upper management? A lot of them don't know that they are being controlled by the upper management of the black blue and black red sides. But a lot of them are not stupid. They have figured it out that even they are being used and controlled and are pissed off just like a clean person would be. That's why there is a lot of dissension within these teams. Is there any kind of special lingo that the colorful people inside these sides use? Man, so I did my best to, you know, not say nothing. Just let you get it now. Obviously, you're staring at a picture, and you're like, what is it? You know, whatever the case is, you know, you got to dig on that higher mark drop, man. You got to get into that Grand Canyon, man. I mean, this is what's being found in America, in Arizona. We're talking about underground cities. Mummified bodies. Egypt. Man, I mean, imagine just walking through Arizona and just stumbling in a place like this. Now, you know, we get back in these red and blues and blues and reds. And I mean, even my partners, even my partners out here, out here in L.A. and Inglewood and everywhere else, man, that be on that red and blue, man. We got to understand that this stuff has been, psh, they red and blues and red and blues and it's always been their red and blue. How can you be red and blue and they red and blue? Now, we know we're just talking red and blue. <laughs> they didn't invent the color red or the color blue. They, they're they hijacking all that. But come on, man. To be dying over it. Dying over it. When they're playing both sides. One minute they're red. Next minute they blue. Black, blue, and blue, black. And black, red. Are you black? Black, blue, black, blue, black, black, red. Are you black? Put it in a wrap. Tacos. Let's go. Man. Are you black? Black power. The power is in your seed, your energy. To ignore that. To ignore the seed, to ignore the energy. It's beyond any abstract, any color, any anything, man. You know who's waking up around you right now. And like you said, most people, you know, ain't gonna believe this, ain't gonna believe that. Hey, it's not for you. You know, it, it doesn't it doesn't matter if you believe it or not. That doesn't make it less true or more true. You can believe in gravity. It don't mean you're being stuck on a ball. But what you could, what you can believe is when you count these mummified bodies, and you read the 1828 Webster, de you know, dictionary definition, copper color race is found here as the definition of American. The copper color race is found here by the European. Oh, but now the term American, the title is being given to the descendants of Europeans born in America. That's in the 1828 Webster dictionary. And now this title is reserved, now referred to Europeans born here, right? All you got to do to be American now is be born somewhere. When did that rule change? When did that rule apply? You're talking about a tribal, sacred land. It's not sacred to you no more because you're brainwashed, you're lost in the sauce, and you think you come from Africa. When they're finding bodies, bodies. 
bodies. And you got our brothers all over whatever community talking about where's the bodies. No one's bringing up G.E. King K. Man, love to the brother High Mark, man. I mean, you're not only getting this, you're getting smacked upside the head, you know what I'm saying, with a steady flow, man. So, love to, you know, love to the tribe, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> man. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm going to fall back and sip my tea. Yep. I will outline some of their words that they love to use with a description of what these words mean to these nuts as used by them inside their frame of reference slash society. One, car. We all know what the normal meaning of a car means, right? A vehicle that maybe only holds six people. These colorful maniacs inside these sides also use it to mean all the people on their side. They will say something like this to you, you can't get out of your car. As an example, say it came from some shit on the black red side of maybe 25 million people, only God knows the true number of people in the United States saying this to one of its members who wants to leave that particular side and jump to a different side because he slash she may think it's a better winning team. 2. Machine. What this means when these colorful rats use this word is in regards to, say, an opposite side of people from them having a very powerful and slick machine, side of people, who can and do get the job done whatever that job may be. An example given in regards to what a particular person on the black-blue side would say about another person would be for them to say about that person that, this machine can read minds, let's go, we got to report this. Yes. These colorful bastards in these sites are obsessed with psychics and in finding all the members of, the great white brotherhood, so that they can destroy them all and if you continue reading this whole doc you will learn about this too. For the readers here who don't know what the hell the great white brotherhood is, it is a group of highly evolved mystics or spiritual people who through many incarnations have evolved their consciousness in the understanding and manipulation of cosmic, spiritual, principles and are living on our planet with the mission of watching over the earth to help to guide us so that we don't destroy ourselves and raise also the spiritual consciousness of the masses. Ah, yeah, it sounds like some other fallen angels that are making claims that they're going to watch over their descendants and their uh, offspring. You know, we'll get right back in that Akakor. We'll get right back in that Akakor. But yeah, man. Alright, Dodge Dodge. Now if you at this point so far are choking on the word psychics and great white brotherhood and think that now this doc is more than really mental bullshit, then don't read any more of this doc and erase the fucking file and go about your daily business as usual. Another example of how say a particular side's machine works again using the black blue side as being the culprits would be let's say that you are on the top of their list and they want to create pain for you so they are going to fix it that your mortgage lender forecloses on the mortgage <coughs> that's on your house. Mm. Now let's say that you have your checking account at some other institution. Now the girl or guy in the bank where you have your checking account at and who is a member of their machine loses on purpose your mortgage check that you wrote for say, February. Also let's say that a microfiche copy was not made. In fact let's say that no copy of that check ever was made because it was conveniently lost after it was recorded into the bank's computer database. So the only record you have of paying February's mortgage payment is let's say, the check number 144 on your monthly statement that was returned to you showing a payment of $799.45. <laughs> so you call the bank and bitch to them about that you have a missing check and where the hell is it? So the bank tells you, well, you have the amount on your statement with the check number and we are very sorry but we just don't know what happened to that check. So you bitch and groan and live with it. Now that the machine has screwed you, the guy or girl in the same machine at the institution where you have your loan at for your house executes the next part of the machine's plan. They have conveniently deleted in their computer database at the mortgage institution a couple of months in sequence of payments that you made for them and of course February's will be one of them. So you get a statement from the mortgage lender saying we are going to foreclose on you because you did not make February's, March's, and April's payments. But you call them and tell them that you did pay them. Now the mortgage lender demands proof from you that indeed you did pay them. So you dig out those old cancelled checks for March and April and now say to yourself, Oh shit, I don't have February's. Just my statement and what is written in my checkbook. So here you go back to the mortgage lender, back to the bank, back to the mortgage lender, and etc, and etc until you can get it all straightened out, if you ever can. This never has happened to me. I am trying to show you what a machine is according to these colorful sides of rats and how their machine can work and does work. 3. Block. These rats use this term when say, 
For example, a particular side, let's use a blue side here, has a member of it who is going to be clobbered for some reason by the black-red side and the blue side has gotten wind of what's going to happen to a member on their blue side. So what the blue side machine does is try to stop or block what is going to happen to somebody on its side so it doesn't happen to him slash her. 4. Hot. This is a very popular term that these colorful cockroaches use quite frequently. Let's say, that the black blue side is going to do something to somebody on the top of their list. Now let's say, that the other colorful sides know about it too and since some of the people in them are somewhat good they will try and convey that trouble is coming your way by telling you it's hot. They won't tell you what the hell the trouble is going to be. They just cleverly tell you that it's hot. Then when you get clobbered, take the fall, you certainly say to yourself, yes indeed. It sure as all hell was hot. 5. Cold. This is a very popular term that these colorful underground nuts use too. This term used by them is obviously just the opposite of when they would tell you that it's hot but rather now that's it's cold. In other words in referring back to 4, above when the trouble that was coming your way has been stopped or dissipated, they will tell you as they mutter under their breath to you that it's cold, there is no trouble coming your way, at least for the time being. 6. Hit. This is another very popular term that these colorful underground sides of society use. Let's say again, that you are on the top of the shit list of the black red and black blue sides. Also suppose you have some kind of business and these cockroaches get to the people who have been giving you their business contracts. So what happens is your business and your livelihood from that business starts to go down the drain because all of a sudden you start losing those contracts and can't new ones. What happened? You got hit by the them. Nailed and you didn't even know it or maybe you did suspect something strange was going on around you. 7. Shift. Say the black blue side whose shit list you're on is going to hit you in some way, clobber you, to bring pain into your life. Now say, the pretty good sides of colorful people who have adopted you and are trying to protect you from getting screwed by the black blue side bust up the hit on you so that you are not clobbered. So what happens is that evil at its finest does a shift to an alternative plan to try and screw up your health, life, happiness, etc. 8. Reverse, what the epitome of the evil in our country does to us who have figured out what is happening to our country and the world thanks to the black blue and black red sides is that they do what's called a reverse and start telling people that we are a socialist. Now it has been my experience that when somebody is called a socialist that the people think also that he slash her is also a communist. Patriots and us innocent people who have been placed on top of the shit list are screwed by them by now having us discredited when none of us are socialist or communist. Another reverse that the cockroaches pull is to call us insane. This is all done by them to discredit us in the eyes of people who they don't want to be believing us by giving them disinformation. 9. Pop. This is another frequent term that especially the black, blue and red sides use when they are presently in the process of trying to make a person on the top of their hit list to go crazy. In other words they pop your brains and drive you the unknowing one crazy so that you end up in a psych hospital. You will see how they do this to you in part 2 since this was done to me many times by them. This is one of their favorite tactics to use on you. 10. Break. This is another very popular term that these colorful misfits like to use inside of their hellish kingdom that they have created. An example of this would be for instance say, that the black blue side has cleverly come up with a plan to make you lose your eyesight. In other words, go blind since you are on the top of their list. It is to be noted here that this is one of the most recent blessings that they had in store for me, more on this one later. So what is done once you know that they are planning to hit you is to blurt out that information back to them that you are going to do the same thing to them. Now since the black blue side doesn't want one of its team members to go blind, but remember it was okay for them to try and make you go blind, the chicken shits end their plan, it comes to an immediately halt. In other words their plan to crucify you has been blocked because you broke it. So what you did to them is what is called a break. I may add in order to save your ass from the devils. 11. Up. This is another term that they use very frequently. When somebody in society uses this term in front of you and says to you, what's up, the normal person would immediately think that the person is asking you what's going on with you. But these sick OS also use this term in referring to who is going to be leaving their body soon and having their soul go up. In other words, who is being gotten rid of now and is there a hit on? There is a lot of frick. Whoa. First of all, what up? I mean, you know, <laughs> gives you a whole new perspective on the mind of a hijack. You know what I mean? Yeah, your brother might be like, hey, man, what up, man? And you already know what frequency it's in. But when they say what's up, 
They say, man, whose body about to go up, man? Who's about to get bodied, man? Whoa. Now, this Dugway, Utah, I haven't heard him mention it yet. But there seems to be a star over it and worth digging into, uh, my people. Dugway, Utah, underground city. Yeah, man, I mean, you, you uh, travel the earth. You travel the whole earth, you're going to find secrets and cities and societies underground. So you got to remember your order because they damn sure remember theirs. Between these colorful groups of sick OS, especially between the more brighter blue and red groups against the black, blue and black, red groups. It's the best schizophrenic country of people I have ever seen. Remember that their children use this term too since the fucking parents have taught them everything about being schizophrenic. 12. Box. This is another wonderful term that this secret underground society uses quite frequently when various groups of these people are infighting each other. Here to them a box means a pine box that you bury in a cemetery. You have to understand here that these various groups of colorful people control each other by threatening each other with putting each other's people inside of boxes, if, for example, the opposite side who started all the trouble, say, the black blue side for, say, somebody in the bright red group, then the bright red group would make sure to tell the black blue group that we're sending you eight boxes for Christmas if you don't stop doing what you have been planning on doing to one of our people. Is NTIT great to live inside of hell? And it's right on earth. 13. Back. This is still another term that the schizophrenic secret underground society uses quite frequently. This term is used by them in conjunction with the term box and hit. And using still our example as get Utah-based Dugway Proving Ground is at the forefront of research into some of the most dangerous and deadly things on the planet, nerve agents, chemical weapons, and much more. There's also notable intriguing UFO-themed rumor mills surrounding Dugway. There are tales of dead aliens. <laughs> Alright, I mean, we're just talking about lizards, right? <laughs> Held deep below the base preserved in chemicals and maybe for decades there are dark rumors of attempts to understand and weaponize what might be termed alien viruses in other words we are talking about a place somewhat like uh, akin to area 51 oh you know the whole thing in nevada where so as we are told area 51 staff are at the forefront of researching and trying to understand alien technology dug way personal personnel are focusing their research on extraterrestrial biology or celestial biology within the firmament. All right, man, I'm just, you know, digging on a couple of things with y'all, man. I'm just digging up a couple of things. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Let me get that back a little bit. There I go. I'm doing to one of our people. Is NTIT <coughs> great to live inside of hell? And it's right on Earth. 13, back, this is still another term that the schizophrenic secret underground society uses quite frequently. This term is used by them in conjunction with the term box and hit. And using still our example is given under the term box, when the fucking black blue side knows that the bright red side is going to give them 8 boxes for Christmas then the black blue side gives up their plans of hitting that one in the bright red side. Mm. Now that person in the bright red side that was going to get clobbered is said to be back. In other words is still alive, since the hit has been broken. Too bad these evil fuckers inside our society have never read the Bible. 14. There are other terms that they use but this should clue you into how these damn things think. What are cross currents? When I was back in New York State in the 1980s trying to figure out all this shit I said to a fellow that you have cross currents in here. He said to me, what do you mean? I told him that information that is supposed to be for only one particular side flows into somebody's house and then all of a sudden that same important information flows out of that same house into several other directions, not contained for that particular side anymore. Oh, he said, you mean hot spots? Yeah, no shit. So what we are trying to convey to you here is that hardly any information is contained because a lot of these colorful people in these sides are double dippers as mentioned earlier. In other words they play more than just their side. They give the same information to some of the other sides too. How holy. So before you know it, everybody has that particular bit of information. Remember it's only a phone call away. Well what's next? If you have survived in reading this doc to this point you should be given a medal for many will never have made it to this point. 
I always thought that it is too bad that a movie hasn't been made about these secret underground society bastards but then again it would be a miracle if one could find a clean movie producer in this movie business who would even want to make such a film. Mm. Do you think that they would want to make a movie about themselves? They could turn it into a science fiction or fiction movie. Or maybe even better a horror movie since that is what all this is really about. So if any of you readers know of anybody who can produce a movie or even would want to produce a movie about where really hell is located and who lives in it and what they do feel free to go for it and make millions. I am only concerned about exposing the secret underground society for what it is and the hell it brings to innocent people. Life should not be this way. Some important points to remember about their evilness. It must be remembered that this secret underground society of people is the basic building block from which all other secret networks of people that exist get their people from. Such as the New World Order Network, for example. Also it must be remembered that the epitome of the satanical evil that is putting a lot of us on the top of their list, has plans for the complete future control of humans, you name it, is a direct result coming from the black, blue and red sides of people. Also remember that the following techniques they use to shut you up are you in a pine box if they can figure out how to do it or drive you crazy and further try to get you committed into a mental institution with no way out of it or try to get you arrested and put into prison to shut you up and to let you rot so that you can be put out of commission for life destroy your ability to produce income to keep you alive and your family alive if you should have a spouse and children put your children on their list because your children are a part of you and if they can inflict harm upon your children then they have terrorized you even further figure out how to destroy your eyesight, ability to walk, etc. I will cover 2 to 6 as I get even deeper into this doc. I especially enjoyed an ex-FBI agent dropping a stack of papers he was carrying on the floor at the bottom of my feet telling me as he looked at me that, the FBI always gets its man. More on this later in part 2. Apparently they haven't figured out how to accomplish one yet during the last 18 years but they have tried and I will cover that too as I get deeper into this doc telling you what they have tried to pull on me. I especially I enjoyed the spider the size of a half dollar crawling around inside my toilet. More on this later too in part 1 here. Remember that to survive from being put on the top of their list to be crucified you must have big balls to stop them. Also it is important to remember that they are relentless in figuring out ways to attack you. They keep on coming at you and keep on coming at you and keep on coming at you forever. Right up until when you die if it should be a natural death. Then after you are dead they continue to put new people on the top of their list. Forever and ever. Now we are going to talk about bugs the human kind. Now we all know about electronic bugs that have transmitters inside them that are placed in homes to listen to your conversations and this will be covered in the next topic extensively but right now we are going to talk about bio- Alright man, so listen up. Now we're going to dig more into this uh, Dugway, Utah though man and you know how they had that star, that Baphomet over it, man. You know, we're talking about hell, man. So, is he saying that there's a, you know, underground connection to... Remember, all these angels have their own hells. It's not one hell. You know what I'm saying? The OSB was breaking down Thoth's hell, and then Louis Mong had his own hell, and then all the sub-gods had their own hells and their own heavens. Because they're in the celestial, right? But you still think that's up. You don't understand, comprehend, or we're, we're starting to hear, you know, that all this is connected sky area, which I'm not going to hesitate, man, because we are getting back in that Giannini. I'm not hesitating. We're getting right back there. You know what I mean? Um, you know, I enjoy the flow, so I know that we have to tie a couple things up right quick in, uh, in our uh, Kalelu series again with our uh, Chronicle of Akakor. I know I got to kick some Preston John. You know what I'm saying? And then guess what? All about that uh celestial connected area so we can get a comprehension of that, all right? So but yeah, we're gonna dig more into uh, you know, this Dugway situation. You know, what they call aliens are angels. You know what I'm saying? So or, you know, whatever biological, you know, entities created by these particular creations, you know what I'm saying? They're just creating shit. Underground creating shit. All right, so you know, when you hear UFO, alien, don't think outer space. I mean, these are fallen angels with fallen angel technology doing fallen angel shit. So this is a fallen angel base, all right? Security hassles could grow as vexing for Dugway as they have been for many years at the military base at Groom Lake, Nevada. Groom Lake, also called Area 51, is 90 miles north of Las Vegas. 
So they got top secret, you know, all right, all right, all right. So we're going to dig more into this Doug way. You know what I mean? I'll leave this link so you can kind of dig on what I just pulled up from above topsecret.com. Now we're just talking about bugs. And my homie AD said, man, you see a bug, man. You better smash that motherfucker, man. Straight up. Say, look, man, I don't trust you, man. <laughs> What's up with these bugs? I mean, this shit is deep. He said he found spiders in his, in his toilet. Look, wah, wah, all right. Everything is order. Everything is order. Even their master has to serve the all. The all that is above the barrier. Once you know, once you're in your right mind, you get your energy, you know, you comprehend order. This ain't no, uh, you know, shooting from the hip, whatever, whatever situation. Their order and their, their cause are specific. You know what I'm saying? So they have order over what they have order over. And while you are playing their game, in their system, speaking their language, man, they do have order over you. Once you separate from it, you say, look, man, I don't care if you're calling it white or black, you're still speaking English, buddy, and I'm not speaking your frequency. I'm not signing up anymore into your frequency. I'm separating my energy from you. Once you separate your energy, you come back into your creator's order once you're in line with the basics you're not killing you're not stealing you're honoring your father your mother you're doing basic earth basic earth order not religion earth order not killing not stealing is nothing nothing religious to do with nothing it's earth order vibrating with your creator is earth order that's order over chaos so yeah we can look up and see what this chaos is up to knowing it don't have order over you Biological bugs that listen to you. Bugs. When you are placed by the tyrants on the top of their list, everybody inside this secret underground society knows everything about you. They all make sure of that fast. The present day telephone is a great tool for them to use, obviously. They all know what you look like, what kind of car you drive, what your husband looks like if you are married, what your children look like if you should have children, everything. The only thing they don't know anything about is what is inside your mind, what you are thinking. If they could access your private thoughts, they would do that to you too. Now remember this kind of scenario. You go with your spouse, who is also clean we assume, to a restaurant for some food or maybe just a cup of coffee. Now bam. When you're walking through the restaurant to be seated those colorful secret underground society people already sitting down see you coming. So you are having coffee and all of your conversation is being recorded in the mind of them who are sitting in the booth behind you or in front of you. In other words, you think you are having a private conversation about your present lawsuit, say for example, against some assholes who have done something to you but in actuality you are also telling those bastards sitting next to you your plans which you think are private. So now when those numerous colorful people who were sitting next to you leave to go what do you think happens? That's right. Immediate phone calls to their other colorful secret underground society buddies so now everybody knows what you were talking about, your plans about that lawsuit say. For example, so each one of these colorful secret underground society members is a biological bug reporting all information back to their other buddies about what you are thinking and talking about. It's important to be able to comprehend how many of these cockroaches there are. It's big time for them. Mega millions of them. Let's put it this way. I don't know this for a fact now but from what I know about these cockroaches, I will say that there are more of them than there are of clean people. The way things are going is that someday these insects will choke us all to death because there won't be hardly any clean people left in being born. Now we are... So there's more bugs than clean people. Now does that remind you of the Matrix? I mean, in the Matrix there's what, billions of people all, you know, following this design and this brainwash all created just to be a part of the system. And then once you're in it, you know what I mean? These agents, right, are using anybody who's a part of the system. They can turn into agents just like that. And you're just trying to get in and get out to do, you know what I'm saying, whatever the mission is. <laughs> so what's your mission? It's the awakening. It's all the most I care about. It's all the creator truly cares about is his flock. The creator will destroy the entire earth.
to keep his flock, but he would never destroy his flock. Because there's always the remnant. There all, there's always the order that will be reborn and reborn. There's always the order. They know that. And if ain't nobody else talking about it, and if you're talking about it, then the order is you. Cockroaches. I'm going to talk about electronic bugs that listen to you. If you consider yourself to be a patriot or just some common citizen and you have been noticing that strange things have been happening to you because of the actions of other people as talked about so far in part one of this doc and later in part two, consider all your phones to be tapped and your house to be bugged by them. This should be in part two but I will state here that as I type this on my computer on my kitchen table sitting in my living room and kitchen since I live in a small one bedroom apartment, I am sitting right on top of one of their bugs. I know this for a fact. Also 10 feet from me is another computer I have that is also sitting right on top of the same bug. Also I know for a fact that both of my phone lines in this apartment are tapped. Now let me say, that these secret underground society people make a lot of mistakes. For example, just recently in this apartment complex that I live in the outdoors of it was painted. Now these painters were one very early morning outside my bedroom window painting the outside wall and woke me up with their painting and talking. So as I laid in bed wide awake as they the two of them talked about me to each other here is what they said as best as I can remember it. He knows everything. They haven't learned anything. If they could bug his mind they would put one in there too. Now remember that these nuts know everything about you and they knew the wall that they were painting was my outside apartment wall. You see. These nuts make all sorts of mistakes in giving you a million clues, I should say facts, about what they are doing to you. So in other words these two painters had big mouths and were stupid to be talking outside my bedroom window. But how lucky for me. They just repeated to themselves what I already knew. Think of these bugs that they illegally plant inside your house as acting and being a feedback control loop. So in other words these black blues and black reds hear everything you are talking about and then act upon it to screw you up even further. Remember you are on the top of their list so that means they have a right to do that to you right? No. It's wrong, not right, and they have fucked any of your constitutional rights that you may have left which sure as hell aren't many. So remember that freedom is an illusion. Also they know all the legal tricks to take away your constitutional freedom, since they wrote all the laws to begin with. Now it must be remembered that when they bug your house they put the bug on your furniture. The kitchen table and the headboard for the bed are favorite spots for them to use. Now when you, say, sell your house or move out of your apartment and move all the furniture you have, you just simply move the bug along with everything else and you don't even know it. So now you set up all your furniture in your new house and bingo, you have the same old bug set back up and still there. How nice and convenient. Just keep on carrying those bugs with you wherever you go. Makes it really easy for them. Now here is some other useful information to know about. I called a couple of agencies in the yellow pages of the phone book asking them if they can locate bugs and can detect phone taps. One of the first things all these guys asked me was where are you calling from? Are you calling from your house? Naturally I told them, yes, I am calling from my apartment. They obviously said that's a no-no. In other words, if I got a bug here then they know I am calling people to find it. But IT doesn't matter if I called from my apartment. Why? Because if I had called from a phone booth one of these guys that has the equipment to bust bugs and phone taps, everybody in town would be told it by him still. So I would still end up the loser. In fact I heard from the grapevine of their big mouths that they said that, they are going to find them all and bring them to the police telling them that somebody is bugging him, and then I heard them say that, they are going to turn the bug off when the guy is there and when he leaves turn it back on. So that is how these schizophrenics work. Evilness at its finest walking around the streets not on any medication. About 175 million of them would have to be on psychotic medication to try and control their schizophrenic behavior patterns. So what happens, they pop my brains in making me schizophrenic which I will reveal how that was nicely and very cleverly done in part 2. Hmm. Alert 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 Now if you are on any kind of computer system and you know or suspect you are on the top of their tyrannical shit list be forewarned that your electronic mail is being read and that any posted messages you leave for other people is being buffer captured and read by them too, mm. especially if you are into the psychic field giving psychic knowledge to other people to try and help them, remember that they are also obsessed with obtaining, stealing, psychic info from people as you will find out in Part 2. 
Also, you should know that the computer systems record in a file all your keystrokes when you are connected to them. So they can look at that file when you last logged on, say, for example, and see mostly everything that you were doing. Wow. Even private computer bulletin board systems maintain a log file on what you were doing when on their BBS. I used to run two BBSs and I had this kind of capability to log the entries of what the users were doing. They are obsessed with watching people. Very holy. It is as if the devil possessed them to do this. <laughs> Stay up, suit up, and choose up. And all this order, all of their magic, has a parent company. They are not creating it themselves. They are only manipulating the energy of all. And because they have no order over creation itself, all they do is create synthetically. Synthetic Merkaba, synthetic people. See, when you're natural, you don't even have the desire to be synthetic. Something synthetic around you, you know, is an abomination. So remember who you are and be true and be natural and know that natural order is the greatest the order of the creator is the greatest because the order of the creator is natural it's beautiful it's a flow and it all comes from hawa love to y'all